Shepherds spend much of their time alone. And one of the first spiritual secrets about David's life is what he was like when he was alone. Psalm 19 I call a meditation of how David saw God when he was alone. And how you see God when you're all alone tells a lot about you and about me. In fact, do you know what our character is? It's what we're like when no one's watching. What you're like when you think you're absolutely all alone, no one will ever know what you're doing, that's your character. That's who you really are. Because all of us respond to the setting and the crowd and the group. David, when he was all alone, wrote down his meditation. This is what he said. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, He has pitched a tent for the sun is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens, it makes its circuit to the other, nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They're more precious than gold, than much pure gold, sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned in keeping them, there is great reward. You can discern his errors. Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. David feared God when he was alone. He said, I want no presumptuous sins. I don't want to sin just outrightly, but I also don't want any secret sins to have dominion over me. I don't want to become enslaved by secret sins. The 19th Psalm, a Psalm about David, when he was alone, meditating on God. He saw God everywhere he was, sitting on shepherd's fields. He listened to God. While he was out there, he was listening to the word of God written on his heart. And David feared God. He said, God, don't let secret sins, verse 13, have dominion over me. And then he ends with this. And this is something I would encourage you, if you've never memorized this, verse 14, let the words of my mouth, everything I say, and the meditations of my heart, everything I think, be acceptable in your sight. O oh God, my strength, you're the one that gives me the grace to do this, and my Redeemer, you purchase me to glorify you with my body. The 19th Psalm, a meditation on, of David when he was young that made him the man after God's own heart. Let's bow and thank the Lord for this wonderful truth. Dear Lord, sitting here on the edges of the Kidron Valley where you, Lord Jesus, walked with your disciples and spent time alone praying, and where David lived, and this was his, his city around us, you are the God 
of yesterday and today and forever, never changing, and you want us to be your servants, I pray we would meditate on you when we're alone and that we would fear you at all times and we would seek to let no secret sins defile and keep us from serving you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.